Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Ubuntu onto a mini PC. For this, we will need to download Ubuntu ISO and burn it onto a USB using a program called Rufus. I have already plugged in my USB to the desktop. This is a 15 gigabyte USB drive, but four gigabyte and higher is good enough. Then we will need the Ubuntu ISO. You can find the link in the description box below. Once here, select Ubuntu desktop and download the latest version of Ubuntu. In this case is the 1804 LTS. Now to create that bootable USB, we'll be using Rufus. It's a free application. Again, the link is in the description box below. Once here, scroll down to download the latest version. Now, once you have fully downloaded the uh, Ubuntu ISO and the Rufus app, go ahead and run Rufus. And here on the device, make sure to select the drive, the drive letter pertaining to that USB. If not, click on the drop down to select it. Immediately underneath, click on select and browse for that uh, Ubuntu ISO. You can double click to select or select it and click on open. Then click on start, read the warning, and then uh, click on yes. Again, write in ISO image mode recommended, leave it default, OK, and then OK. This is telling you that it'll delete all information on that USB to be replaced with that Ubuntu ISO. Once done, I'll close and eject the USB so I can plug it onto that mini PC. Now we could do this on the mini PC as well. Okay, for this tutorial, I'm using the Minis Forum Fanless Mini PC uh, Z83-F. This is a very good mini PC. This is a um, <clears throat> four gigabyte DDR3 with Windows 10 already pre-installed with a 32 gigabyte SD card as a um, hard drive. You can read more of the specs in the description box below. I have a link there. This comes also with an Intel Cherry Trail X5 Z8350 processor. I'm going to be using this uh, fanless mini PC for an own cloud, but for Ubuntu, an own cloud is extremely fast. Trust me. So, okay. I have my um, Ubuntu USB here, and I'm going to plug it onto my uh, mini PC. On this mini PC, to access the uh, boot menu, I will have to tap on F7. If you have a different model, I suggest you uh, Google what function key to press so you can access the boot menu. So I'm powering on my uh, Z83F mini PC. And then I'm going to constantly tap on the F7 key. And here it is, the boot menu. Now I'll select to boot from that USB drive and hit enter. Here I can either try or install Ubuntu. I'll select install Ubuntu. I'm going to virtualize the process for better video quality. Here select the language and click on install. Select the keyboard layout. Here, select uh, if you want minimal or normal installation. I'm going to be using this for on cloud, so I'll select minimal installation. And download updates while installing Ubuntu. This is completely optional. I'll leave it default and click on continue. On this next screen, I will not be installing Ubuntu alongside Windows 10. I'll select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu. I can always go back to Windows 10 in the future if I want to. Click on Install Now 
to continue. Here is giving you a warning in case you change your mind. This is a good time to go back. If not, click on continue. Select the time zone. Enter your credentials here or your login information. I'll select login automatically. I don't want to be putting my password every time I log in. This process can take quite some time, but once done, you'll have Ubuntu installed on your Z83F or any other mini PC because the process is uh, exactly the same. What changes if the it is the boot option at the beginning. So once done, click on restart now and you'll have uh, Ubuntu installed on your mini PC. Now, if I go to the real uh, mini PC here, you'll notice that it's completely installed and I go to disk and you'll see that I'm using the uh, 32 gigabyte SD card as my uh, hard drive. And as you can see, this is the uh, 15 gigabyte USB that I use to install Ubuntu. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.